Pioneer Stereo Receiver S6780. Now it's time to remove the bottom cover. There are some screws here around the edge. You see around the edge of this metal protection cover. It's one also here on the middle. You have to unscrew all of them. But be sure all the time when you are when you're dismounting a device to be disconnected from the, from the mains, yes? This is first thing. After that, you have to prepare your tools and you will start the disassembly. Okay, so also the last screws. I'm, thinking collecting the, I'm collecting the screws in the box to not lose, you know? Okay, and this is the lower cover. And now you'll have access to the bottom part of this uh, amplifier, amplituner device which you are working. Yeah. So this is how it looks on the bottom. Here is the tuner board, fuse board, main transformer, former, Darlington power packs. This power pack is uh, designated to to provide the power for the speakers on the left side. The, this one it's delivering the power for the right side. Yeah. Here is the main circuit board, and on this main circuit board you'll have protections, power supply, and of course the tone correction, play amplifier, phono play amplifier. We'll see on the other side. Yeah. So this is how it looks on the bottom. Here is the upper side, and we'll go uh, to explain all the parts. So power transformer, main power cups, tuner board with front end, radiator for power uh, packs. Here on this side we have the power supply the auxiliary volt power supply, the auxiliary voltages, protection board, these two trimmers are for V meter sudden adjustments. This amplituner it's uh, from series 80 like 1280 1980 1080 all of them they are provided with view meters. So there are two trim pots here. With these two trim pots you are able to adjust according with the power. Yeah? And of course all these adjustments you have to, to make according with the service manual. If you like what you are seeing here please subscribe to, to this channel. You can share also with the others. You can leave the comments if you have questions or if you want to know something about something else or about this gear. And thumb up. So here we'll have the phono board, phono side. You see for phono he is using two, two, two ICs. For preamplifier he is use, using also ICs. 
and capacitors. All these capacitors, what you will see here, we should replace them. It will be a recap process and full restoration process in the same time with cleaning alignment. We will align also the, the tuner board with the, with the RF signal generator. This is the RF signal generator from HP Hewlett Packard. So this one we will use on the end to, to calibrate the FM and AM. So this is how it looks now. It's with dust. This dust, it will be removed, cleaned. You see also on the PCBs, some, something was going inside here. Also here is dust, we have to clean between the fins of capacitor. On the front end, you see it's a lot of dust here. Also on the main circuit board, it's some dust. And some liquid here was, was came here before. Also thermal grease for the power packs and for these stabilizers. All knobs, front plate, they will be cleaned. And already the spare parts arrived. I put already on the bags. And like I said already the parts, I, I arranged them. So this is for phono side. These parts, they will come on this side here. You see some of the capacitors I will replace with film some electrical electrolytic capacitors and then when we'll start the process we'll check also the transistors to see if they are if he is using transistors which they are prone to, to create the noise yeah. if they are we'll replace here we'll have the power 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 supply stage it will be this side here with these two trim pots these two trim pots are for for adjusting the power power uh, power amplifier stages. This one is power supply plus protection and also some diodes because these diodes here, like you see, are oxidated and I don't like this oxide because this oxide can can go inside the package. So to be sure, everything it will be. Okay, after restoration, I will replace also this diode. The other box is for front end tuner. And like I said, plenty capacitors, film, they will go instead of this electrolytics. Here also I see I put two transistors. So that means on this side here are two transistors which they are prone to create noise. And on this part, it's view meter side. So on this this this, uh, this back here are the parts for view meters. So this small side here, yeah. And of course the main filter capacitors. They will go instead of these two here. So more or less, this is how it looks. The beginning process of restoration. Before we will start all uh, this mantling process inside for parts you have to be sure the main capacitors they are fully discharged because you can be you can be electrocuted by the voltage which is inside here and also in the same time you can make a short circuit and you can destroy something inside and also these capacitors which are big, you have discharge also, you have to discharge also. How you will do this? You will, need, you will need a multimeter and the resistance to connect between the leads of the capacitors to, to, to draw out the current and the voltage inside. If you like what you are seeing here, please subscribe, thumb up, leave a comment, share with others, ask me if you have some questions. So we will we'll proceed with this. I will put this uh, this camera on tripod, and I will show how I'm doing. But before this, of this, I have to show how uh, what I'm using to to release this uh, this voltage. I'm using a bulb. It's a halogen bulb. 
focus. It's not focusing. No, it will focus. Okay, so it's a bulb, 70 watts, 230 volts. Yeah. So with this one, I will discharge the capacitors. Yeah. Okay. So I will show you how I will connect this. First, you have to identify where are the the connection leads for these capacitors. So the connection leads are here behind. On the bulb, I have these alligator clips. And I will stick here. I will show you in a moment. Yeah. And I'm checking the bulb. Should light for a second. Depends on the current, what is, uh, what is inside of this, uh, this, this capacitor. And in the, sa in the same time, I will connect also the multimeter to see the, the reading, to see if the, the voltage is going on zero. So how I'm doing with this? You know, here on the capacitor we have direct current, so it's DC. I will connect the multimeter on DC. It's visible, should be visible soon. And I will connect also the alligators on the same, same point. So it's zero volts DC. Yeah? So I'll show to you how I did how I did this. You see, there are all three all are the three leads of the capacitor. This center one is the the support one, the stabilizing one. You know the old capacitors they have three three. On these vintage gears they have three leads. First one. Second one and the third one. So I connect the alligator clips from the bulb and the alligator clips from the voltmeter. So now I have, I'm sure that capacitor is discharged. And now we'll, I will move with alligators on all big capacitors which are around the, the, this unit. But doesn't matter if it's amplifier, if it's uh, tuner, if it's equalizer, if it's a receiver, amplitude, it doesn't matter. The process, the process is the same. If you are knowing this, if you are not doing this, you have... Now here it's written about the fuses. I was thinking it's written also to pay attention about this. So in case if you are not doing this, you, you have high chances to be electro electro electrocuted or you can make a big short circuit sparks and you can destroy something else here and after that it will be not so easy to identify the, the problem. Yeah. So this is how I'm doing on this process. If you like, press, press, uh, press thumb up, please. Subscribe to my channel, Marius HV. And uh, share also with others. Thank you. See you.